Hey what's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will teach you how to easily create a wolf logo icon from start to finish in Adobe Illustrator. Alright so the first thing I did was find the front facing image of a wolf on Google. I then went ahead and traced out the wolf's face while ignoring most details with my Apple iPad on Procreate. If you don't have an iPad just print out the picture and trace right over it. Now that the sketch is completed, I will open an Illustrator file with the size of 1920 by 1080 pixels. I will then drag in my reference image and set it as a template. Then, I will create a layer above it which is where the illustration will take place. Now let's make sure we determine the center of the logo. You can press Command or Control R on your keyboard to bring up the ruler guides, and then just click and drag a guide down the middle of the logo. Let's move ahead and start the drawing process. For starters, I will use a simple black stroke with rounded caps and corners and activate my pen tool. You can press P on your keyboard. From the middle of the head, I will draw straight lines while following the contour of the wolf's head. Once we have our straight lines created, you can curve them using the curvature tool. With this tool activated, simply click and drag on the lines to curve them. Using the pen tool, let's trace the inside of the ear. I'll adjust the curves using the direct selection tool. You can press A on your keyboard. Moving on to the top of the nose, start by drawing a straight line from the center point and then continue following the reference image while drawing the eyes and the inside of the fur. And once again, curve the lines using the curvature tool. Now that we have the left side completed, I will mirror it over to the right. Firstly, I'll make the strokes thicker for better viewing, and then I'll select the illustration and activate the reflect tool. You can press O on your keyboard to activate it. From the middle point, hold option on your keyboard and click. This will bring up a box. Make sure that vertical is selected and it has a 90 degree angle. And then just click on copy. Next up, I will curve the top of the nose area. Select the anchor point in the middle and raise it up. And then with the direct selection tool, curve it down. In order for this to work, you need to make sure your anchor points are joined. You can do Command and Control J for that. Let's then move on to creating the nose.
We can finally move on to coloring the wolf icon, but first we need to determine the closed shapes. For this, I will select everything and activate the Shape Builder tool. So we're almost done here. I'd like to finish off this logo by adding a small shadow on the right side. For this I will use a grey color. Create a grey shape with the pen tool and make sure to go over the black area. Select both shapes and activate the shape builder tool. While holding option on your keyboard, simply delete the overlapping shape. And now we have a shadow inside the ear. I'll create another shadow on the side of his face, and another shadow beneath the nose area. I'll duplicate the nose shape, make it grey, and then send it behind. And there you have it everyone, this is how to create a wolf icon logo design in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and let me know in the comments below what kind of logo you'd like me to do next. Have a good one, and cheers everyone!